We're going to move forward with the votes for Japanese encephalitis virus and for the anthrax vaccines. Um, be before we get started, I just want to remind the me members that they have their um, electronic voting clickers. Um, they should all be on the correct stations. We've checked them all. Um, one is approve, two is not approve, three is recuse. We do not have any conflicts of interest related to these two votes, so um, you should be choosing between one and two. Um, please press your clicker and don't hold it down continuously. Press it and let it go. Okay? Great. All right. <laughs> go ahead and We'll just read out this wording. This is uh, vote number one. Uh, as mentioned this morning, there will be three votes for Japanese encephalitis vaccine. JE vaccine is recommended for persons moving to a JE endemic country to take up residence long term, for example, greater than or equal to one month travellers to JE endemic areas and frequent travellers to JE endemic areas. JE vaccine also should be considered for shorter term, for example, less than one month travellers, with an increased risk of JE based on planned travel duration, season, location, activities and accommodations. Vaccination also should be considered for travellers to endemic areas who are uncertain of specific duration of travel, destinations or activities. JE vaccine is not recommended for travellers with very low risk itineraries, such as shorter term travel limited to urban areas or travel that occurs outside of a well-defined JE virus transmission season. So remember, one for approve, two for not approve, three for recuse. The recuse is not um, usable in this one. So why don't we begin? Everybody vote. All right, everybody, again, <laughs> vote your conscience. No. Let's go around the room. All right, we're going to go vote uh, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> so going to my right, would you please lead Dr. Dr. Lee? Lee, yes. Dr. Mc, uh, Ms. McNally? McNally, yes. Dr. Alt? Alt, yes. Salaji, yes. Talbot, yes. Atmar, yes. Bernstein, yes. Is that Louis? Yes. Stevens, yes. Moore, yes. Gravenstein, yes. Hunter, yes. Walter, yes. Fry, yes. Romero, yes. Great. So the first vote was approved by 15 to 0. Moving on to the second. Can I have the second? Oh, thank you. Um, the second vote is the proposed new recommendation for primary series schedule in adults aged 65 years. Uh, the wording of the vote is as follows. In adults aged 18 to 65 years, the primary vaccination schedule is two doses administered on day zero and seven through 28. All right, so we will do it again by verbal vote. This time we're going, starting with Dr. Fry. Fry, yes. Please do. Walter, yes. Hunter, yes. Gravenstein, yes. Moore, yes. Stevens, yes. Is that a lawyer? Yes. Bernstein, yes. Atmar, yes. Talbot, yes. Salaji, yes. Alt, yes. McNally, yes. Lee, yes. Romero, yes. Great, so that vote also passed uh, by 15 yeses and zero noes. Next, Next motion. So the third vote is on the proposed new recommendation for a JVC booster dose and is as follows. For adults and children, a booster dose, i.e. third dose, should be given at greater than or equal to one year after completion of the primary JEVC series if ongoing exposure or re-exposure to JE virus is expected. 
All right. Again, we'll start with Dr. Lee, please. Lee, yes. McNally, yes. Alt, yes. Salaji, yes. Talbot, yes. Atmar, yes. Bernstein, yes. Ezanolo, yes. Stevens, yes. Moore, yes. Gravenstein, yes. Hunter, yes. Walter, yes. Fry, yes. Romero, yes. Great, so the third vote uh, passed with 15 yeses and zero noes. Um, we can move on to the anthrax. Does anybody want to offer a comment? Please. Any comments by the members of the committee on, on any the votes? Vote? Okay, we'll move on. Okay, thank you everyone. So uh, we just have one vote here. So this is on the anthrax vaccine use for pre-exposure prophylaxis in persons not at current high risk of exposure to anthrax. So for this, we're voting on uh, among persons not currently at high risk of exposure to bacillus and thraces who have been previously primed with AVA and wish to maintain protection, a booster dose of AVA should be given every three years. So this language has been slightly edited from this morning. So any comments or questions? Dr. Atmar. I think there was also a desire to change should to may. The afterwards, okay. Go um, ahead, Dr. Shilaj. I, I think uh, we added that clause at the beginning, among persons not currently at high risk of exposure and who wish to maintain protection. So then we thought it actually is more precise to say should. Uh, it doesn't imply that all people should. It's just among the subgroup. I think Dr. The, Dr. The, Hunter. Oh, sorry. Forgive me. Uh, reference my previous statement that it could get excerpted, and it should be May. <laughs> Dr. Atmar. I'll just echo uh, the concern that um, the, the should could be misinterpreted by some end users, and, and May uh, can, gives the same sort of idea without necessarily the push. So I think um, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're going to put a may, then you, you may have to remove the wish to maintain protection. I mean, the wish to maintain protection is supposed to give you the the, the may. Dr. Bernstein, sorry. Um, we could leave should in and change given to considered. Dr. Alton, do you have a comment? Sorry. Yes, please. Can I just get clarification? Dr. So if we, um, if for some reason we put in May and then they go six years, do they have to get re-vaccinated or no? Because I, I think the question for me is, do they need to restart their primary series at some point? Never. No. Never. Okay. Then if it's never, then I'm, I'm okay with me. <laughs> Repeat that, if they please. never have to, uh, it, it, my, my worry was that if the interval got too long, that they would lose sort of the benefit of having that primary series, and then the booster wouldn't be sufficient. But if there is no worry about that, then I'm okay with, no, is that, no worries. We got no worries, okay. Dr. Evermore? Yeah, in fact, I mean, one of the points that was made during the presentation was that there are some data that suggest the interval can be even longer um, at the, this, and those data are going to be further developed and will probably be reconsidered uh, in a few years when they're available. But the three-year interval is what we have data for currently as an acceptable minimum interval in those who are not at continuous risk uh, for, for, for this group. So, you know, I think the should was... Uh, is a word that, at least with some people I've had discussions with, has been suggested to be used where there's really a, a, the thought that the person should be getting it and, and not as a permissive sort of, uh, yeah, if you want to maintain it, uh, you, you need to get it. It's, you may get it because it will, or some other word, but not should. Dr. Salaji. I agree. I think, I, think, I think that would be fine to say May. Dr. Fry. 
The other comment that came up later on was that uh, the language to say to ensure that you maintain or boost your um, memory, you should, because that's what we have uh, data for as opposed to we have no data for later on. I'm just throwing that out there because that was a point of discussion. Any other comment? Uh, yeah, if I remember well about the data, um, it, if you wish to maintain a protection, the only data we have was for three years, and longer than that, it was possible, but we don't have data for that, unless I don't remember what was presented, that three years is what we have the data for. So if, if we're gonna say may, then we should remove the wish to maintain protection. Anybody else? Dr. Bernstein. Um, perhaps we can uh, just, um, put a booster dose of uh, AVA should be given, or whatever words people have decided, every three years to maintain prote protection. Dr. Atmar. I, I suggest that a uh, booster dose of AVA may be given every three years among persons not currently at high risk of exposure to B. anthracis who have previously been primed with AVA and wish to maintain protection. Just flip it, um, and, and then you c capture the idea and it's make clear that it's still uh, permissive as opposed to mandated. Uh, and any other comments? Dr. Baker. <clears throat> I would suggest for the sake of accuracy before the vote that you get words up there that are gonna be the words you're voting on, please. Dr. Baker, exactly my thoughts. I was about to make that suggestion, but go ahead, Dr. Fry. I, I would like to see Robert's words uh, put up there so we can take a look at those more closely. That sounded pretty good to me. I, so what I propose, you want to try this? Okay. So let's put something up there now and see if we can come to an agreement. Otherwise, I think we need to postpone the vote until tomorrow so that we can wordsmith this to the satisfaction of everybody. Please repeat, Dr. Amar, what you... Yeah, so it's basically a booster dose of AVA may be given every three years uh, to persons not currently at high risk of exposure to B anthracis who have been previously primed with AVA and wish to maintain protection. So are there any comments from the committee Period. on this language? Does this meet with the committee's approval? Okay. Is this, are we ready to vote on this? Okay. So, go ahead. Go ahead. So, Dr. Fry, do you have any thoughts? Uh, I'm... I'm fine with it. <laughs> it's like, does anybody else? I'm fine with it. We need, we need a motion to accept this. So I'm, I'm making a motion that we accept the language. Okay. The Se second, please. Second. All right. Uh, okay, so. Dr. Gramstein has a question. I second the motion. Okay, fine. Thank okay. you. So we first need to vote to approve the amendment to the language, and then we have to vote uh, to, because we did change the made to should, that's a significant enough of a change that we should vote to approve the amendment. So let's vote to approve the amendment as it stands here. So let's begin. Dr. Fry. Fry, yes. Walter, yes. Hunter, yes. Ravenstein, yes. Moore, yes. Uh, Stevens, yes. Ezanola, yes. Burns, yes. Atmar, yes. Talbot, yes. Salaji, yes. Alt, yes. McNally, yes. Lee, yes. Romero, yes. So now, we're, now we will, we, we don't need another motion, do we? No. Okay. So we're ready to vote on the, the, um, the, uh, the motion itself, the change itself, as it stands. All right. So I don't think the clickers work, right? So we're going back to verbal voting again. To my right, Dr. Lee, please. Lee, yes. McNally, yes. Alt, yes. Salaji, yes. 
Talbot, yes. Atmar, yes. Bernstein, yes. Ezanolo, yes. Stevens, yes. Yes. Gravenstein, yes. Hunter, yes. Walter, yes. Fry, yes. Romero, yes. So the motion, so the motion passes with the amendment language uh, 15 to 0. We can officially um, close today. If you would like to bang the gavel to do today, so. Today's meeting is closed. <laughs>